Right now, we're going to have a look at the brand new release of Optics 2022, which is the newest update to the Boris FX Optics plugin suite for Photoshop Lightroom, and it's also a standalone application. There's 174 different filters that go everything from lens effects that are incredibly realistic to some of the best color grades that I've seen, and you can actually take grades from actual movies, um, and these are the same tools that are used in cinema, are used in movies and TV shows, uh, and a lot of the sapphire effects are now ported over and work inside of Photoshop. One of the significant upgrades is that the speed and the performance has been increased. This works on Windows and Mac. On Mac now, it takes advantage of metal, so you'll see a lot better speed. And if you're using an M1, the standalone version is now M1 native, so that really takes advantage of that new speed and power. So the big thing that is new here inside of Optics 2022 is Particle Illusion, where we have 1700 presets and all these different particles that emulate things like smoke, fire, Fire explosions, heads up displays. Let's dive in and have a look and see what's new inside of Optics 2022. So let's choose filter and we're going to go to Boris FX and you'll notice that Optics 2022 is a separate install from Optics. Now you'll notice that the interface has been updated. We've got this nice dark theme and instead of uh, these buttons up the top, which took up a lot of space, we have reset, cancel, apply at the bottom. Uh, we have nice tabs for each uh, category and we can scroll through these and you'll see there are lots and lots of them. So let's start with Particle Illusion. So Particle Illusion gives us all kinds of background effects. Fully editable. We've got dusts and fogs and smokes. We've got different digital emitters. And they're quite neat because we can just drag on them and reposition them. So if I wanted some kind of an explosion coming out of our hand, we could do that. But there's many others. Let's go across and see some of the other ones. Look at some of the magic categories maybe for something to put in her hand. So let's do this flash burst. And I'm going to drag it into position. Now here's one of the nice things about working with this. Let me just drag the interface down, make our image a little larger. So if you go on to the right hand side, we go to the parameters and we can adjust different things. Composite here is where we can have, you know, different color tints and the way it interacts with the image. Uh, particle properties, we have, you know, we can put a glow on here and notice that the glow extends into the image, not just on the uh, particle itself. And then we have a lot of different settings. So everything can be modified. But let's choose world transform. This is where we size and scale things. So if I wanted to scale something smaller, if I choose other settings, you'll notice that these settings will maintain the position and the size that I put in there. And if you want to add more, we can stack these on top of each other. These are also time-based. So that means that we can go through different frames and find different versions of these until you find one that really works for you. You also have the ability to launch particle illusion. And in Particle Illusion, you have the ability to modify so many different parameters, even put these into a 3D view, uh, and they will animate. So these are based on animations. And if you want, you can hit render and you could render out an animation. But let's find a frame that we like. I like this frame better. Let's hit apply and notice it updates in our image. Let's create another new layer. And under the render settings, we now have Ultra Zap, which creates lightning, but much more powerful than what we had in the past. And notice I can just change the path of this. I can change the amount of bolts. I can change the width. I can change anything I want, the colors, whatever you want. Let's create another new layer. And another new filter is under the light settings. We have a ultra glow, which adds these amazing looking glows that we have, of course, full control over. The electric blue looks pretty neat. As well as giving us glows, we can apply masks and control where they go. So you can just add it to the top of the image if you prefer. One category I really love is the GUIs and HUDs. And these are things I used to spend so much time creating by hand. And these are also time-based, so they can change. And 
of course they can also be animated. So we have all the powerful color grading tools. We have the color correction, presets from different movies. And these presets can be adjusted. We can change the blend mode or the opacity to kind of just blend them in so they're not quite as strong. And of course you have complete control over everything. So one of the things that makes optics so powerful is just the huge amount of filters. So we've got different categories. We've got all these different uh, colorizing filters and then we can go into the film lab and some of the ones I really like here emulate different types of film. So we can choose different film stocks, you know, to emulate actual film. These can also be blended in with the underlying layers to create some really nice cinematic effects. So we have the Sapphire Beauty where we can do skin softening at a single touch and of course apply different types of effects. And then we also have Beauty Studio we can make it aged if we prefer, different types of smoothing. And of course you have complete control over all of that. Optics has some powerful masking tools and we can now use those masking tools in Photoshop. Just simply create a layer mask on the image you're working on. Then go into Optics 2022. We can apply the masking tool by simply clicking the mask in as many different types. And we're gonna use the easy mask Choose the inside paint with green on the areas you want to keep. And we'll just do this quickly so it won't be a perfect mask. Choose the outside. Paint with red on the areas you don't want to keep. And then you can generate a mask. If you want to preview the mask. And you can export these masks into Photoshop by clicking on the export mask and apply. And you will notice that the mask is now created in Photoshop. And let's be honest, I'm actually very excited about these effects and I'm going to be using them a lot. I've already been playing with them and I'm going to probably stay up very late, a lot of nights fooling around with these and just adding that extra something to my images. So personally, I think, you know, this is a no brainer. If you don't have it yet for Photoshop, it's really worth it. And as far as pricing is very reasonable, there's two options. You can do a standalone license or you can do a subscription. Subscription is $9.99 a month or $99 a year, or you can buy the perpetual license for $149. If you already own Optics, the upgrade is $49. However, if you bought it within the last year, the upgrade is free. So what you gotta do is log into Boris Effects. And so when you log into your account, it will show your support period for a perpetual license, and then you can download the free upgrade or the $49.99 upgrade. Now, if you're using the subscription, you still need to go into the Boris Effects and download it as a separate filter because it's Optics 2022. So check out the link to download Optics and also check out our discount code that's in the comment section uh, underneath. So what do you guys think about this? What's your favorite filter? Let me know in the comments underneath. And if you're new, welcome to Photoshop Cafe. Hit the subscribe button, ring that bell, and you won't miss any of my videos. If you got any value out of this, smash the like button into dust. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.